Welcome to the Creative Playing Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok's story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. You, the player, think is interesting, um, and then you, uh, the family leader, leaves the game or comes back into my uh, into my hand. Um, okay, so let's talk about what um, episode we want to do first. I kind of tend to lean away from doing pilot episodes because I'm real tired of establishing what spaceships are and what time travel is. Like, and it really annoys me that they come back and they actually have the show and they've changed. They've everything. changed everything. Anyway, <laughs> what was the point of the friggin' pilot? The pilot was to get the budget to make the show. Right. But I've got the budget. I'm rich. I've got the money. Um, So let's look at everybody's sheet and kind of think about what might be happening in the show at a particular time. So who is anyone spotlight in episode one? I think it's the inventor. That would be the inventor. Okay. So the main issue in episode one is going to be him being charming in the wrong situations and getting everybody into trouble. Um, So who has twos or ones? I have a one. One? I have a one. One, one. I have... I I marked out everything. Uh, Oh, no, you did. That's okay. You just left the one blank that is the correct one. Yes. So you also have a one in episode one. Yes. Okay. So episode one is going to be really about that issue, and you all are just going to be kind of... You're not going to be able to throw in a lot because you only get one free card uh, each time. So uh, who is Spotlight in episode two? (coughs) Anybody? I'm a two. You're a two. Okay, so that would be the episode of, like, the big heist that's going to get you to retirement, the cop the big that's... Score. Kind of the big score, the cop that's on your tail, like, every scene, like, if this is a big confrontation for you as to how you're going to deal with the retirement issue. Uh, what do you guys What do you guys have? I have a two. Two? Uh, for episode two, I got, a, I got blank. I have a two. You can't have blank. It's a one, a two, or a three. Okay, I, uh, it was... You have two ones, two twos, and a three. Okay. Sorry, I'm still filling that out. All right, cool. Uh, a two? I have a two. two. Okay, so it would be a really intense character episode with all kinds of character issues coming up, including your spotlight. You don't have a two, not a three. We don't have a spotlight. Oh, no spotlight in episode two. I thought you said it was... Okay, all right. You are a two. Got it. Okay. Uh, how about uh, episode three? That's, that's your spotlight. So that would be a confrontation at the orphanage, a test of your ability... Are you adequate? Are you good enough? Um, and maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Um, is it your orphanage and, on your heavy world, or is it an orphanage on a light world? Oh, well, it was the orphanage where I grew up. Uh, where is, what planet is it on? It's on a bad planet. Bad planet. Okay, but you guys have an episode. That's a title right there for the episode. Um, I'm a two. Two? <laughs> Sorry, which one? Episode three? 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 I am a two. Two? I'm back to a one. Back to a one. So you all would have your character issues, and you would be more sort of supporting and throwing in information and, um, and assistance with the plot. Uh, so you guys kind of see how this goes. Yeah. So which of these episodes, looking at your sheet, are you most interested in playing? Uh, no, this is the nature edit. And uh, I can play in any of them. So yeah, why don't if we you're, just do the first one? Just do the first yeah. one. Okay, works for me. So uh, let me write this down here. I need to make a few little calculations. Uh, so what we have right now is uh, before have you do that, three of us what, you have what's your one. screen presence? One. Uh, one. In yes, episode one. one, okay, one. Yeah. In episode one and three. Yeah. So that's go ahead. You're good. Is it good? Yep. Okay. You're good. I, I was thinking I could switch mine to yeah. no, one. It's all, one, it's all good. Whatever you want to do is fine. 
kind of randomly up here, and I just have a big spike at four, and then like nub it down to the bottom. It might be my jail time. I think I'll switch my dudes. Yeah, go for it. Everybody, stretch your legs. Give me a second to think up some plot elements and some names. And character name. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to name your character, and we have to name the show. I have got a name. I name my character. Cool. Let's do it. Who is it? What's your character name? Art Devereaux. Art Devereaux. Yep, yeah, with an S on the end. Does that sound fancy? Got it. <laughs> I figured go for just Thomas James. Yeah. No last names. Yeah. Yeah. My character won't have a last name. <laughs> and is it an alien name? Or is it a... Or is it some derogatory nickname she was given by kids growing uh, up? No, she actually, I was, I was thinking of doing something like that, but what type of moniker? You know? Ogre. It would be a name where you're like, it's not pronounceable in your language. Yeah. <laughs> like an alien word for orphan. <laughs> Chippewa. <laughs> <laughs> Doe. Doe. <laughs> a deer. Um, a female deer. Why, um, Ray? So, uh, no, Ray that's and Jane Doe. Oh, okay. <coughs> or you call her name J. Doe, and that's her word. That would be funny. <laughs> That motivates you. Uh, did you get a character name yet? Ah, uh, yeah. It's gonna go with Thomas James. No last name. Thomas. That's how the X's track you. <laughs> Clearly, it's your last name that they use. <laughs> Thomas James. Okay. Uh, name? J D. J D. I like it. There you go. Uh, I'll be just A B H I J I T H. Kataria. Say again. I'll be just A B H I. J I T H. H I J I T H. Yeah, but Abby for sure. Oh, Abby. Okay. Yeah. Short. I love short. Okay. Um, so, just to establish a couple of other things, I did like your idea of it's not like unlimited time travel. Like, you can open a portal to a specific place in time and then you can get home, and that's really kind of it. Um, and of course, you've got your spaceship. Yep. Or flying around hey, in the universe when you're doing that. Yep. Um, cool. Uh, let's see here. All right, the first thing that happens in an episode is I do a teaser, which is not even a full scene. It's just like a short little blip to kind of tell you and the audience of what the plot of this is. Episode is? Okay. Yeah. And... Um, this is um, your spotlight episode. Okay. Um, so, um, I'm going to say that um, you are holding on to Onyx. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got an idea. Um, let me think about how best to, to, to put this in. Uh, allowed to ferment together. Oh, sorry, what's the uh, so name of this TV series? Oh, that's right, we didn't think of... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's right, we never did. Or you can hinder them. Chrono uh, Capers? Chrono Capers, okay. It's kind of okay. cheesy, but... Super cheery, cheesy. Uh, how about Jane... How about... Uh, I was going to say James Chrono Capers, but... Um, that's your last name, and that's, yeah. like, that's kind of weird. But, um, Chrono Capers works for me. We can always change it. Uh, it does in that mechanically oh. it only helps using the modifier of the gem right. with the person you help. So, um, your ex's name is uh, Lean He Sook. And, um, it depends on their. So, um, Okay, got an idea. Dare uh, I ask what my nickname for her would be? Uh, Hisuk is her full first name, so uh, you you do what you will. Okay. Uh, 
she's the rival inventor, she's probably just as smart as you, but not as lucky, um, things like that. So, um, the show opens, um, and it's a, um, uh, it's a resort planet. Uh, okay. And you are all there, that, that, that and you're celebrating. Uh, you're all you sitting around a table. There's an alien waiter that's, that's bringing you really elaborate drinks um, that glow um, or have little yeah. LEDs in them that flash different letters and numbers to show that it's okay. space. <laughs> yeah. Because space. Because space. <laughs> that's alien. And um, so uh, as you are there at the uh, uh, table, a um, impeccably dressed purple three-armed alien comes up and says, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Uh, Jameson, was it? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's been a little problem with the uh, material that you put in the uh, hotel vault. Uh, could you come with me just for a moment, please? Oh, this... Yeah. And we're like... What was your name, by the way? Art. Art? That's where you put uh, all the loot from your last job. <laughs> yes. It was <laughs> a lot. Mm. I, uh... I uh, slam my drink yeah, back right. real quick, <laughs> put it down, grab the next drink there, slam that back really quick. They're quite good, aren't they, sir? D delicious. Let's just hope the uh, security here is as good as the, the alcohol. Oh, well, naturally, sir, we, uh, we have the finest. Uh, it's an absolutely um, impregnable vault. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no team of, uh, of thieves in the universe that would dare break into this uh, uh, situation. Uh, yeah, what's the problem? So Except that means mine. Just a few, just a few sensor issues. Just if you could come with me. Uh, I, I will. Uh, Art, you may want to see to the ship. JD, just uh, powder your nose. Get ready. If there's anything. I'll powder your nose. Oh, this is so cute. And, and I'll head off with them. She oh, certainly is. She, she, oh. <laughs> All right. So you head off with them. Do you, who do you go with? Um, Maybe you want to come with follow. Him. It's a historical right. vault, I, I'm sure. Come to have a look at it as well? Oh, of course. Right this way. You're like, there's a vault. <laughs> so the, uh, <laughs> Sensor issues? I can help with that. So they, uh, they take you, uh, and the Mater D is like, he's very obsequious. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's a minor thing. It's a small neutrino flux. We have such sensitive sensors. And you were very cagey about exactly what it was you were putting in there. So we really just need to have a look to see. Uh, and as you get to the door of the vault, uh, you know, the, the, to get in, like, there's three different, like, hotel officials. Um, there's a member of the planetary uh, militia authority. Uh, like, they all have to put their various appendages on the scanners at the same time. Like, there's a DNA, like, swab that, like, goes into their thumb. The, the vault door, like, slowly swings open. Uh, and as you look in, you can see... There's a dark, swirling portal in the back of the vault. And That's our trick. <laughs> and hauling away the last bag of loot from your last adventure are these three, led by a much older, lean he suk. <laughs> And they oh, disappear into awesome. the portal. And oh, the portal awesome. slams shut. And I turn around like this. He jumped there. And the, uh, uh, the concierge like, looks at the two of you, looks back at you and says, and how will Sir be settling his bill? <laughs> this will okay. be affecting your review. <laughs> All right, cut to the credit sequence of Chrono Capers. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that takes us. <laughs> so you have. I'm still old and doing this. <laughs> no, they all, seem, they all seem to be the same age as they are now. It was Lean that's much older. She looked like she was in. We look like we're the same age. She looks younger. Yeah. Okay. No, no. You all look at the same age that you're looking now. Lean looks much older. Okay. So she's aged. She's okay. a just as an older version of uh, my ex. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it is now time for you to set a scene, and let me uh, go over how that works. So first, you uh, choose 
whether it's going to be a character scene or a plot scene. Yeah. I just noticed this room. I was coming over to see what the heck was going on over oh, there. Oh, don't your game. Keep sure, sure. Uh, so in the uh, in character scenes, you find out how the protagonist is dealing with their issue. In plot scenes, you find out if the protagonist gets something they want. Okay. So those are two uh, and this, different that, options, this, right? This, this, um, and then you choose which characters are there, uh, where it takes place, and kind of a generalized question of what will happen. So for an example, like, um, there were no questions in that last scene. That's why it wasn't a real scene. Like, that's the inciting incident to get things moving. Um, that was exciting. <laughs> so... Uh, so, where character, y'all bring out my cut? Character or plot? Who is there? Where is it? And what's generally the question of the scene? Okay. Um, all right, I think we have a scene where Bobby <coughs> is giving a seminar at the university. Oh, okay. And all three of the others sort of walk in to one of the back rows because they wanted to see the portal is, is opening soon. Okay, so. All right, so hold on a second. So, um,. The, the scene takes place at the university. Yeah. All of you are going to be there. Um, and is it a character scene or a plot scene? Um, can you explain this again? Sure. Character is about whether or not the protagonist resists their impulse and how they address their issue. A plot is about whether you get what you want. So, right. And remember, this scene is all about him and his his issue of uh, woman problems. <laughs> it's a great issue. It's timeless. Yeah. So, so does, his, does his scene open up 23 hours ago? 23 hours ago. <laughs> it can be. Like, you can do that. That's part of the location. So. That we're, we're walking there, and that's going to be the start of the heist that ends with us stealing everything. But that would be hilarious. Um, uh, Go crazy, man. Go crazy. Yeah. I've got the best <laughs> twist. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I think this is a plot scene. It's okay. basically like... Right after you guys got robbed, what you guys are... What do you... Or... Oh, this after. It can be. Or, or he's going to come looking for us. Yeah. Like, he's going to wonder what was... What well, was he, you right were there. there. You saw it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You saw it happen. It You're my a, witness that you stole from me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if I get you to testify. <laughs> Wonder if I can legally have you testify. No, you can't incriminate yourself. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh. But you can. But you can wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, okay. I was sort of thinking the the, the teaser that you did was like for later on. Oh no! This that's the first thing the audience sees when they tune in. Yeah. And it can be like if she said, you can yeah. say this is 23 hours earlier. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you can do the, the classic so, flashback. Yeah. Because you said that the portal's about to open. Yeah. So the portal that we're about to steal stuff from that we then wind up on the pleasure planet that we yeah. then steal from ourselves yeah. 23 hours before that. That would be kind of funny. Yeah. Although it's two different things. Though. It's like it's most of the going to be. It about is a little weird to have a time travel. Hang on a second. <laughs> I just want to say it's a little weird to both have a time travel show and move the time of the show. Like, yeah. it's weird to say 23 hours earlier when the characters can make that just walk through a portal and yeah. say that. Okay, so well, let's go to the time travel thing. can be twisting. Like, yeah. Go after in our own. Okay, so I said. Um, as, as I was traveling, the, the I have a question. The yeah. The vault. Yeah. It's like, was anything else in the vault? I mean, anybody else's possessions? Uh, yeah, probably it's huge. It, like, the way I envisioned it was it's this massive, big, round door, like, from the 1930s. It's got, like, weird neon and LED, and there's these huge, like, containers. Um, and it was, you know, your container was taking up the most space because, man, you guys got it was a hall. It was, it was a great hall. It, it was your retirement <laughs> fund. But anyway. Um, but you did get it. Maybe. <laughs> So, character versus plot, location, who's there, uh, and the question. Okay. Um, I think it's. All right, I think it's a it's a plot scene. Okay. Um, he's got. He's got me with him, and I would say one of the other two came back. What, what did he send them off to do in the trip? Get the get ship, the ship ready, ready and to be ready. Powder her nose is my code word for get ready for trouble. Okay. Because it's cute, and she makes that little little mousy face when I say it. All right, so we got back on the ship. So. Yeah, everybody's back on the ship. That's a good location. Oh, let's, say, let's say she's not back yet. I'm not okay. sure where she's gone. All right. Where <laughs> Jamie's gone. But Art and Thomas and Abby are on the ship. Okay. And what's, and what's the question of the scene? 
in terms of plot? Like, um, I think do you like Thomas is trying to find out if we if we know anything about this, like this is us from the past, or if we're, if we're, the, if we're, the if we're him, if we're, if we're trying, to, if we're just playing him this whole time, really working for the other one. Okay, and, so and but, the hell is JD? so the question um, yeah. is, um, yeah. does he like, reestablish yeah. trust with yeah, you can two? Can he trust us? Can yeah. he trust you? Okay. Does he reestablish trust with you two or not? And then that's in terms of plot. That's okay. the goal of the plot. Okay, sounds good. So. Um, Right, so uh, let, let me, let's talk about this ship a little bit. Like, um, do you always fly the same ship, or do you end up like stealing different ships in different situations? Um, in the past, I just took whatever I wanted. Okay, so maybe this is just maybe the maybe the joke of this show is that you are never flying the same ship because you can fly anything. Yeah. Okay, so um, like this ship in particular, we'll say. Um, was originally set up for some aquatic species. So like it's damp and there's like some there's like furniture on the ceiling and the walls because they could have like swum up there and, and used it. And there's like pods don't stick Right, there's like air filters that are sort of dangling out of reconnected tubes that you guys have, have put together. Um, and, oh, and it doubles as a submarine, of course. Duh. Uh, and, uh, it goes without saying. goes without saying. <laughs> uh, for obvious for reasons. reasons. <laughs> but anyway, the... Um, uh, so, um, you are already there warming up the ship. These two guys come in uh, completely broke. So, uh, go ahead. The scene begins. So, um... What was going on when you recommended this place for our little vacation stop to uh, use this unimpenetrable, never been broken in history vault? I I only heard and read good things about it. It's it's, it's a secure secure place. I, 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 think, I, I think when you get back to university, you may want to make some corrections in those books books of yours. I, yeah, so, I, I will. I will. What's going on? So apparently, um, y'all ripped us off. What the hell are you talking about? Well, not not us all, but a different a different us. It's a spatial time flux thing, but apparently, uh, you all and I just heard all th all three of you, and uh, my bitch ex wife. Stole all of the loot that we had in the vault that couldn't be broken into. And uh, since they're like macabre, they must be over 100. Go back to you. I don't think which I... bitch ex wife. Uh, um, smarter than you? Oh, I'm sorry. The one that's better looking than you? <laughs> or the one that's both? Yeah, so you actually have access to. I won't dignify that with the question because there's Wait, only there was... one that has anything to do with all three of those Wait, things. Wait, there was one who was worse looking than you? And why did you? But it was uh, rough. Like I don't even know pictures, and it's really good for before meal times. Only one of them had facial tentacles. Yes. And there was things she could do with them. That was the so. One. For the record, I don't know when you guys plan on you know stabbing me in the back. But from the looks of what I saw in that spatial displacement field that you all were jumping into. You do realize this is my ex who could not invent time travel herself. And something did look horribly off with that wormhole. You know, I don't think I like what you're implying. Oh, no, I'm not implying. I'm saying. And you're assuming it was us. And you know what? Well, you do know perhaps you freaking deserved it. I probably did. You do know that clones exist. Well, and they're pretty damn common. I've got three in storage of myself right now. As long as you don't have another one of those where I open the door and they come plopping out, sliding down, <laughs> down the hallway. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. That's not the point. Point is, maybe it wasn't us and you're making a big assumption because you want to rip us off. No, I'm not, yes. I'm not saying it's, it's my friends who in this current time-space continuum are my friends. I'm just saying if you happen to know those people in a different time, Stepping through that black vortex of nastiness, you may want to have your DNA scanned when you step out the other side of that because something didn't look right in that vortex. All right, so uh, that's a good that's a good start. So before um, 
just in general, when you're asking a question about a particular protagonist, like in this case him, it's good to, for when you're playing it, everyone put pressure on him, which you guys did great. So, but that's, um, that's you did that without me telling you to, which is the best, because uh, it's easiest for me. Uh, okay, so everyone who wants to, since everyone's here in the scene, you're kind of the person I'm on that, the spot. You're kind of the person that the, the it's about, so I'm going to give you your screen presence and cards. I get one for me. Now you're all here, so you can throw in and say, "My character wants him to trust us," or "My character doesn't want him to trust us." Um, and or if you're like you're, you're just a bit on the question, you don't have to pick a side. My character would want him to trust me because it, it would the the fact that you know it's like I need to be believed in. Gotcha. So you can also uh, okay. So there's one card for your screen presence. Awesome. Anything or no? Um, Don't care either way, or are you in? I'm kind of ambivalent, because he okay. really, he should trust me based on what he knows about me, and if he doesn't, he's a damn loss. Okay, how about you? Uh, I think I'm ambivalent. I'm more just curious about the situation. You're still, like, right? think, trying to puzzle yeah. it through. Okay, awesome. Okay, what's your name? So, um, now, the other thing you can do is if you have a trait or, ed sorry, an edge or connection that you feel is relevant to this situation, uh, let's throw that in. <laughs> so, do you have one? Just give me one reason to hit you. Okay. <laughs> now, now, before I before to you, since your screen presence is only one, you can only use your edge or connection one time in this episode. Okay. So you want to use it now? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Um, okay. You guys are ambivalent, so that's all good. There's no fan mail for anybody to purchase. Uh, you guys have five, so I'm gonna start the economy. I'm gonna prime the pump here with four. You just insulted me by not trusting me. Damn straight, I'm gonna lose my gun. Me one <laughs> day, hit you. Nice. Okay. Red cards are successes. One I have success. two. Ooh, oh, the lady yeah. brings it in. I card. Okay, so um, they, uh, you get what you want, which is trust among okay. the team, um, and uh, you keep it together. Uh, that's what the uh, the high card means. It's higher than the producer, so um, let me make sure I uh, establish that well. Okay, so it, what that means is that... Um, Good job, baby. So think about it as in terms of being yes and. So, like, the answer to the question of does he reestablish his trust in the team is yes and there's something else good that comes out of this. Like, what what could come out of this conversation? And you've got the high card, so you decide. Um, what good could come out of this that could benefit the goals of the uh, the team or his spotlight issue? Um, perhaps we find a clue to actually what happened. No. Okay, uh, that sounds a good. One. Uh, pass the cards over. Now you are the person with yeah you are the person with a high card, so you can actually tell us what the clue is, oh. um, or if you'd like uh, help from the other players or from me, I'm I'm happy to throw it. Uh, let's see here. Um, you can find um, like our one of our clones are missing. You can find that there's um, all of our hairbrushes are missing. Like, <laughs> oh. it was like that. Like somebody clearly stole our DNA to create to create these clones. To create the clones, so it could clones be clones and time travel. The clones might be really what's going on, or that might be just a red herring. Yeah, anything like, like that. It's like. Um, and he he described the whole situation mm -hmm. to us, right. I'm assuming, and it's like, uh, it's like, huh. well, frankly, it, you would have had to done something pretty damn stupid for us to turn on you, and I just don't see how that's really possible, considering we haven't, it hasn't happened yet, so obviously it's not us. Plus, that's our own stuff. Why would we steal from exactly. our own stuff? Exactly. And then, yeah, I just get and frustrated. And I have no... Con I mean... Sit, I just throw myself into one of the chairs, start, start spinning around, and pull uh -huh. out my little multi-tool, and start fidgeting with it, and go, I have been told I'm the stupidest right. genius this <laughs> side of the quasar. <laughs> You're the dumbest smart person I know. <laughs> but how did she get this one over on me? And damn, she looks old. Of course, then again, I haven't told Big Mary me ages someone. <laughs> well, I, Being crude with you can do it. This creepy ass wormhole of hers. Uh, There's a possibility that that's pulling, uh, like, like sucking her vitality. 
guy. Well, no, how could it be sucking her vitality if if the time travel doesn't suck our vitality? Because hers because is I'm a genius. Work, right? There's a reason why I left her. Remember, he said hers looks weird. Um, it's got this weird vibe to it. Like you need to have your DNA we looked checked. Okay? Have your genetic sequence checked. Yes, well, then we're not real. Like Maybe we looked, we're androids. We looked okay. She didn't. Robots don't age. She could have just suckered you guys to walk through the portal. But we're here. It's a temporal <laughs> dynamic thing. I would need a hollow board to show you. The, it's it's more of a figure infinity than a line and a circle. Yeah, well, you two discussed <laughs> that at, in in. Yeah. Whatever life you want. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do you want? What do you want the uh, the actual thing you learned to be? Like, what's the clue that you get from this conference? You, you, we you didn't get age. Well, oh, they didn't age. Okay. Okay. So, um, either yeah. So that I, I like the idea that maybe either they're brand new clones, right? Who, or they're robots. Or they're robots that she that old Hisuk brought back. Because we have the AI that's been helping with the ship, that's so true. there's a possibility that these are also AIs. So first she goes and copies my device. Now she copies my crew. Hey, she, she was you older. Check? Maybe you gave it to her. Or if you got it from our AI, maybe you can run a systems check to see if it's been breached. All right. So, okay, that's a good scene. So you guys are now working together to solve this problem. We're back as a team. The, the team is together again. Okay. So and you now, don't have a black eye. So now it's your so, That's awesome. You could still playfully slug So don't forget, control. if people do something you like, yep. hand out the chips. Uh, so... Um, it's your turn, so okay. it's going to be a character scene or a plot scene, and then you're going to say who's there, where it takes place, and uh, what the question of the scene is. Okay, I'm actually uh, going to be greedy here. Say it's character scene okay. for my character. That's absolutely good. In his workshop. Okay. And he's basically putting together three little de de devices. Okay, and what's the impulse... How is your uh, issue of women problems going to be? It, it's basically a trust issue with my crew. Uh, well, that's not your issue okay. though. Like, so a character scene is my issue is has a spotlight on it right now. Which okay. is women troubles, and the question of a character scene is: Do I give in to my impulse to be way too charming or not? So maybe like you're still investigating the situation on the resort planet and there's a beautiful dame that comes up and starts asking you questions. Like maybe a planetary police officer and she's taking your statement about the robbery. And she's really cute. And yeah, she's really cute. Okay, so, so I'll head back to the planet to submit my report. That's actually a great example. We'll go with that one. Okay, good. All right, we'll, we'll do that. Let me get a, a quick name for her. Uh, oh, we'll make her Irish. Is that a, a nice, a nice Irish cop? Aren't you a handsome boy? Yeah, she's from Space Ireland. Um, all right, her name is Space Potatoes. Officer Cam. Uh, Officer Doyle. Officer Doyle. Um, Bridget. Bridget mm, Doyle. Brianna Doyle. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a resort world, um, and it's pretty clear that um, Officer Brianna Doyle uh, came off the Baywatch um, squad. Of, uh, <laughs> You're required to get a facial before Academy. Uh, yeah, totally, totally. And some surgery. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, and uh, she's, some, she's like a, a, she's like a near human, so like she's got kind of. Um, Maybe like uh, sort of dark green skin um, and uh, like kind of a crooked smile. Um, and oh, no. she. Uh, Not crypt tonight. Yeah, exactly. So she and uh, she says. Um, uh, so uh, you're working on some device, like in order to like track down the situation. Okay. So uh, you're like, uh, let's say you're in the room at the resort, because okay. um, you had to go up and like take apart all your stuff and move out anyway. Um, and uh, is there anyone else there other than you and the officer? Um, I, I actually will bring my muscle just in case. Okay, so you are to protect you. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. So, um, there's a knock at the door. Okay, go. I'm going to just look through the... Okay. So I'm working on Beep. stuff. We're taking stuff apart. The little hologram pops up. And uh, it is uh, a gorgeous, dark-haired, green-skinned 
um, a person that is wearing a uh, uniform of the um, local authorities. She's holding up uh, identification. Uh, yes, I'm here about the uh, incident that took place a little earlier tonight. I'm looking for uh, Mr. Jameson. That's a nice way of putting it, incident. Yo, James, the police are here about the robbery. <laughs> Let him in. Try to bring a fan mail for this <laughs> For being plucky. <laughs> so she comes in, uh, and she like, immediately smiles at you, and, and then kind of like, oh, and you're here too. And, and I go from um, I'm on like, one knee working up. to all of a sudden you hear a tool drop <laughs> as I do the whole from feet to legs <laughs> to hips to shoulders and to James head, just going and up. down and down and back to the legs. Not this you one. Adjust her hair. Officer, just arrest me now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, have you done anything wrong? No, but I'd really like to do something wrong. <laughs> but I really she, she grins a little bit. I'm going to be she sick. Says, Get to the point. <laughs> she says, ah, oh, well... You know, uh, I'm just gonna go and make a as soon as I as soon as I sort out this little matter of the interdimensional thieves, uh, you know, I'd be happy to sit down and have a drink with you. I'm sure since you were there as a witness, you'll be able to tell me everything really quickly. This is the woman you'd want, and it's an, a picture of the ex. But she that was picture was taking a so long. You, you long actually time. give up the ex? Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. Interesting. She's right. the bitch, bitch ex wife. All right. She says, um, "Do you know of any?" Uh, reason that this person would uh, want to rob you. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I can't think of a reason anyone would want to do anything to you. <laughs> but, uh, it's too bad we can give him one. <laughs> it, it's, I think it may be a personal vendetta because we, I was given something in my inheritance in my younger years. It was a <laughs> ring from my wife, from my, my, my mother. Ah, I see. And it was a wedding ring, an old custom back on my world, oh, is to give romantic. your wife your mother's ring. Oh, that's very sweet. I don't want to hear about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> All right, so um, she is like worming information out of you about the Oops. other people that you saw loading up the stuff into the portal. Um, and so that's right up my alley. That's right. Oh man, she wants you to talk. Uh, well, you know. Let's so the talk question about is: us. Do you give in to your issue of being too charming and too cooperative and too helpful? Yes, because unfortunately, that's the stupid kind of thing <laughs> I would do. Yeah, you might. You might. Okay, so um, you are also there. Um, do you are you helping him or hurting him in this endeavor? You know what? Or you I'm gonna, are you going to do that whole right obvious now? wave the knife while making your sandwich? Um, <laughs> actually, I was going to throw bread at your head, but you know, you like do that. Yeah. Not while I'm interviewing a witness, ma'am. Please. <laughs> uh, so, you're, are you going to help him keep his mouth shut, or are you going to? Help. I'm going to help with his mouth shut because okay. nobody needs to be talking about my business. Okay. Uh, you guys have yeah, some fan mail. Do you want to spend some fan mail on either side? I'm going to hold on to mine right now. You're going to hold on to yours? How about I'll you? spend it. Okay. So put this uh, on top of that. I am going to spend four more. Actually, let me look at the time. I've got to move this thing along. Uh, all right, four more. Yeah. Ooh, a pile's getting big. I got to... Um, you gotta prime the pump early on as the producer, so here it goes. Gotta spend money to make money. You gotta spend, that's what the money's for. All right, here we go. Two, ooh, one for me. We got three. Uh -huh. Three. You are killing yeah. yeah. like it. She's on your side. No, no, she's no. on his side. No, she. She's keeping me from up. talking. I want him to shut. Correct. And Correct. he so, wants to keep talking. No, well, the if in a character in a character uh, scene, it's whether they give in to their impulse. And he wants the answer to be no. I don't give in to my impulse. No, I said yes. I'll give in to it. Okay. And I don't want him. To but do. that's not what a character scene. Is. Oh, okay. You I made you. the character yeah. scene whether about you would or you wouldn't. Okay. You Your cards it. are for yes, I would. Okay. I know I wouldn't, and my cards are for yes, I would. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So no, we win, we but not. you got ace high. I do get ace high, which means that I get to introduce a complication. Let me make sure I uh -huh. uh, throw that in in the correct way. You resist your impulse, but there are consequences. Okay. So now cool. this goes into the pot, right? You no, know, it goes back into my budget. It's, it's a red, so it doesn't get lost. Correct. Yeah. It's not lost. 
Awesome. Uh, so, um, we'll say that there are consequences insofar as, like, um, like she's kind of, like, flirting, she's getting a little closer, like, she puts her hand, like, on your elbow. That's while a she's lovely talking. shade of shamrock. Yeah. <laughs> she, oh, yes, well. Uh, you know, my family always loved uh, the, the tales of Earth Ireland. Uh, and, um,. So, like, just being so charming and sweet, and then, like, she directly asks you a question that would implicate her, that would basically say, so, like, one of them was, like, a half-alien, because you could tell because she was picking up an extremely heavy, like, you know, item. And you're like, golly, I just don't remember. I, I didn't, I only saw the one I gave you the picture for. Okay, so uh, like she looks down at the picture and then she looks back at you and she says, you know, I, I hear what you're telling me, but uh, I don't think this is about an inheritance. I don't think that she is your sister or your cousin or whoever was after your mom's ring. Actually, she was my ex-wife. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's your ex-wife. And I'm pretty sure that you know exactly why this happened and exactly who did it. So as long as you're on, like suddenly like it's all gone. She flips the switch. As, as long as you are on this planet, got my eye on And as soon as I see a hint of the stuff from that vault, you and all your friends are going away for a long time. Everybody on this planet knows that no one's broken into that vault in 10,000 years. So there's a lot of people wanting to see you and all your buddies go down for ruining the reputation of this planet. Now listen, this is your last chance. You tell me what you said. This is it. I'm not going to ask you again. And I just lean forward, flick the picture. Okay, got it. And then pull the picture down so I can see her, her lips. Right. <laughs> and then let go of the picture again so it pops back up. <laughs> right. oh. like, okay. And then just lower my head just a little so my one. eyes that's are covered awesome. by the picture. She's like, <laughs> hand him another one because that's just freaking awesome. Would you like me to print another picture? Maybe an electronic copy? I think I'll figure it out. Thanks, ma'am. She doesn't even ask you anything. She just breezes right out. And uh, please find my stuff. She doesn't reply. Our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, uh, Jane. I think I know why your marriage is ended. It's all about cool. you. Me, right. <laughs> my next invention and the next hill. That's a good scene. I like that one. Okay, so, um... It's now your turn. Okay. Character or plot? Location? Who's there? And what's the question of the scene? I think it's <coughs> plot. Okay. Um, I think the professor needs to discover something. Okay. So the question Ooh. of the scene will be, like, do you track so down where the portal went? Yeah, something like, something like that. Something so where what, what's he... What's the connection yeah. point? Uh, right. Or maybe where's... Old Hisu, or like, yeah, questions like that, like that, what you're working yeah. on. Make big, make a big question. Because I think the professor needs to get us closer to the re the truth of what happened. Because right now I'm unreasonable because it's my ex. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. We so the professor's so the professor's going to be there. Where's it going to be, and who's going to be there? I think it's going to be in the vault. Okay. Oh. Um, like he's joined a like the forensics team. Or oh, okay. So you know, maybe he knows someone on the forensics team because they're academic. An old colleague. Yeah. Academic, yeah. That given his academic history. Right. You know. Okay. I like that. That's cool. So, um, are, is anybody else there? Um. Does anybody keep an eye on this dude who's way too curious? Like, that's my question. <laughs> I think the pilot. Yeah, you're the person who you drove him there. Curiosity, yeah. So, yeah, so like if he's going to be around he, digging into things. Art keeps everyone on an even keel. I like it. I yeah. think, you know, not only do you, you can fly anything, you can drive us. 
Okay. Sure. That's pretty good. I like it. Because the professor might get lost. Okay, so it's in the vault. Uh, he's there. Uh, Art's there. Um, the quest, It's a plot scene, and the question that's going to be answered is uh, specifically what? Like, where does the portal go? Like, what, what's the... Uh, where, does the, where did the portal go? And just one. Eight. You have oh. one question. Because, like, where did the portal go? Because maybe uh, yeah, when they step through, the high, they left something. The high card is going to be able to the and. Like, the people who get the high card says and or but or whatnot. Okay. All right, so. Um, Was that our question? Yeah. yeah. Do you know where the portal goes? Okay. So like the vault is now open again, um, and um, there's like a couple of soldiers with these huge weapons that are just like out front, glaring at anyone that's around. Um, and uh, there's a, like a an old man in what looks like priest robes, and he's like rubbing his head and like he's really down and like really depressed. Like this was some kind of like religious thing that had that had happened here. Um, the uh, concierge uh, from before, the three-armed dude, is there, uh, along with the forensics team uh, from the police, similar uniform to Officer Doyle. Um, and uh, let me uh, get a name of a, a colleague. Daedalus. Oh, Daedalus. Like Daedalus is a good one. Daedalus. All right, so um, we'll say that this is, oh, this is uh, Dr. Daedalus. Because that just rolls off the tongue beautifully. Boy, that's a superhero name, too. Uh, so Dr. Daedalus is there, and um, he's, like, from one of those really, like, ultra-logical, cerebral, um, like, species. Um, and he has, like, the galactic uh, officer's uniform on. Uh, he's a fed. Yeah, he's the fed. Um, Marshall. Yeah, he, oh, Marshall. Marshall Daedalus. I like it. It's Marshall Daedalus. Uh, yeah, so he ball. He says, uh, ironically enough, his first name is also Marshall. <laughs> Marshall, Am- Marshall Amadeus. Sorry, What's your last name again? Um, Kataria. Kataria. He says, uh, it was opportune that you were present uh, on World when I arrived, uh, Kataria. It's not often that we have an actual applied historian available on what might be an interdimensional uh, uh, cross rift incident. Indeed. I see it equally uh, fortuitous <laughs> to my studies. As you can see, the locals are irrationally attached to this location. Well, I think they missed I mean, the he's like, well, irrationally. I mean, our resort's been here for a thousand years, and... This has never happened before. <laughs> our reputation is at stake. He, he Do you his, understand? He adjusts his little bow tie with two of his hands and runs his 30. <laughs> this is a critical Importance. You should be the maitre d' from now on. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, now the concierge. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate for some, but it's it's also an amazing. Uh, and this is yours. Must be yours. A field assistant. So, it's laid back. Uh, I see you in her washer uh, and those shorts. those nictitating membranes sunglasses. and black eyes are like. <laughs> Um, yeah. Mr. Devereaux here is very, very modest, so but um, he's, he's, he's in a, a, a study program. I see. He's doing very good work. Well, let's really set up the equipment right away. Uh, and if there's any is type a of... student really going to be able to help in this situation? <laughs> I can assure you, uh, I can assure you, sir, that's perfect. Yes, it's good job. extreme importance in your brother's student. This guy is definitely getting his own spinoff. Um, <laughs> at least webisodes, at least. Yeah, the webisodes. Uh, so uh, the marshal says, uh, please, uh, please don't be emotional in this situation, sir. Uh, are, uh, the, the federated marshals have everything under control. Uh, as you can see, the... Uh, Robbers uh, were only targeted a very specific set of, uh, of items. Uh, there's valuables sitting right on that shelf over there. They just walked right past them. Um, as you can see, the low security areas here, they have not even attempted to breach them. Um, this was a, a targeted heist, and they will not be back. How do you know? It's a simple matter of deduction. Simple matter of deduction, sir. Now, uh, let's set up the uh, neutrino emitter, shall we? 
I'm a seasoned banquet hall anyway. She's weird. <laughs> says, yes, um, oh dear, I, oh dear, oh dear. I, I believe there will be other members of my team and they, they may need to eat. So yes, if you can obtain some food for my team, that would be very appropriate. I'm sorry, but the resort food is not part of it. It's like, these are for paying guests. You can send them to the kitchen and we'll see if we can find some scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the cops and scraps. <laughs> That's the best. Okay. And, and perhaps call for a grief counselor. For a grief counselor. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. For that species, it might be necessary. <laughs> uh, so, okay. like, so, so if our if our calculations are correct, the neutrino readings are here, along with the. The surveillance footage that caught some glimpse of things through the portal. We should have a, at least be able to narrow it down to. Correct. Unfortunately, the uh, internal uh, security cameras uh, didn't fully activate, uh, which leads me to believe that there was some kind of type of energy cascade within the wall. So let's let's examine it closely. Now, uh, Mr. Devereaux, could you calibrate uh, this uh, neutrino flux emitter uh, there on uh, Sector 3? Thank you. And here's uh, here's yours and here's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and she I'm starts like, shaking it. Put it on, it. Put it on two. Um, Hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Every time this dude turns out, I look at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's set up right here. All right. Marshall. That's awesome. Okay. So. Like the <laughs> uh, you are here, uh, your screen presence is one. You are here, your screen presence is one. Uh, my, I, I get one for free. Um, do either of you have any traits that apply to this situation? Uh, none that would work. <laughs> you never know. This guy is a marshal, so he's from the same organization from your... <laughs> Yes, dude. here. <laughs> yes, but that, that he's on my tail. Like, I don't want this dude to recognize me. No, that's true. But, like, they'll, they'll remember the whole point of the connection well, you is have, you well, know how they operate two. and get no, them to do it. Oh, okay. That's true. Yes. Like, yes. Then, no, it's the two okay, cards. so yeah. So there's your trait for that. Be sure you check it off because you only get to use it once. Uh -huh. uh, do you have any traits um, that yeah, apply? I think, I think it's the scholar of history. Like, okay. Maybe possibly the, the neutrino readings can only like narrow it down to like, a large number of choices, but I'd be able to rule yeah. out several of them. Like, this is future tech history type yeah. stuff. Okay. So I'm going to uh, buy in with uh, you guys. Have, Spread around. Oh, uh, sorry. For next is fan mail. Does anyone have fan mail they want to throw in on? I want to support my good friend here. All right. Awesome. I'm going to support him too. Awesome. Very good. Uh, any other fan mail spins? Okay. I'm going to throw in. Mm, you guys are spinning. I'll spin a little too. We like the pot. Here goes, everybody. I got three. I got a king. Oh. oh we got four. Oh, we got four this, and a king. This gets gone. And a pair of queens. Okay. A king. Okay. So, um, so we got the high card and the win. You get the high card and the win. Absolutely. But we do lose that one. That one gets out of okay. circulation. Okay. That's good. Mine goes back into the bank. Means we're making progress. Okay. Yep. Good. 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 Okay. So the uh, group for the win. <laughs> so I'll, the the. As always, like the producer answers the question, and then the high card people, which is usually. Right, like I gave him my fan mail, yeah. so it was Oh, cool. okay. So it's cool. Got it. So then the high card people get to do the add on, right? So I'm now answering the question of the scene, which was uh, do they determine where where does the portal go? Um, so all the weird science equipment fires up. There's arcs of electricity and weird radiation pouring out of them. This is, uh, I see that your, uh, your equipment's calibrated quite accurately, Mr. Devereaux. Uh, good work. Uh, well, we just have that innate lockdown. And it may be cool for other... And he's like, uh, so he like opens up the little hologram projection of like where the portal might be. You can see like tunneling wormholes all intersecting each other. Like shoulder, like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly. And in fact, he he totally believes that you know what you're doing. And he says, "Oh, um, you seem to have this under control. Uh, I need to speak with this person over here." So he's looking away from the screen because you are totally in tune with how these guys operate. So you're like, "Yeah." 
Why don't you? That priest guy looks really upset. He's like, oh yes, I should probably. The, the manual says I should be sensitive to the cultural needs of the planet that I serve. Not the concierge. I read the, the the packet on the way here. Yeah. So he so he goes over to like talk to the priest and so you two um, see the uh, the portal like and it uh, emerges um, on a nearby planet. Uh, not far away, and you also discover something else on top of that that also advances your position in the plot, but you two get to decide what it is. Oh. While they're doing that, did you want me to grab some water, by the way? Uh, I'm not sure I'm yeah, once we, once we go all the way around. Um, I think... <coughs> it could be okay. proof that it's androids would be a good idea. Um, when, we, when we look in, we see her running the combination that unlocks the area that she's in, where she's got our stuff. That's another plot device we could get. Uh, maybe you might see uh, like a glimpse of you, and like your eyes are glowing, so you know they're a robot. Or yeah. you know, it's just like, it's like putting us away, like putting us yeah. in small oh, things. That's a good idea. Give, give him a. That's the, yeah. give you. That that's a good idea. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> One of us just like shuts down. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I, I start filming it while the while the portal's open. Yeah. I film what's happening. Yeah, and I like so, us just scribbling down notes. Like, Got it. So, as soon as this guy comes back and sees this, he's gonna immediately look at the two of you like, yeah. Oh, really? And this is interesting. So I lean over and I'm like. <laughs> and I move it, and he set it to whatever was the appropriate thing, I put it back to two. Okay. So it, <laughs> <laughs> and so it, it never, it, it zoops out, and then it never, it goes back to searching, Fizzles. and doesn't connect. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I was like, oh, what did you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> it shows a primate hitting a coconut with a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I'm like, so, uh, um, it didn't Marshall Daedalus comes. I'm like, look at, I look at Daedalus's back, and I'm like, yeah. But the thing about yes, it's fine. Have a look. Have a look. She's a like, strong I silent. We, I don't know what you did, but I think we can get it back if I just pull some wires. So, <laughs> so Daedalus comes back and says, oh, I, I heard one of the fuses blow. Is everything okay? It never, uh, it never actually connected. It just, it just cycled. It showed the display with the neutrino uh, stream, and then it never connected. Sure. Uh, these things are impractical. Well, I'll uh, put it back together and try to see what I can do about making it work. Thank you very much for your assistance and in setting this up, but I think the locals would be much happier if we minimize the number of people that we hear. Thank you. I'll put in a good word for you with your committee. Okay, so thank you. And scene. And scene. Perfect. And nice job. job. Okay. So, it's now your turn. Okay. Okay. So, uh, character or plot, uh, location, who's there, and what the question is. Continue plot. Okay. Next planet. There's like a, the Indiana Jones. Yeah, like a little red line. <laughs> the next planet. Yeah, you show me at the wheel. <laughs> and then it's just taken off, and then it's landing. Got and, it. and we're in a new ship. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're no longer. Ship. No longer we're no longer a sea ship, ship. We're in a different We're now in a right. pleasure yacht. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you stole and some, that's how come stole the, some rich guy's yacht. I got the lean back. It's got a little wheel. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. And so now we're at the okay, we're so at that planet that we saw. And what's the plot the question? Does anybody know if the plot like question is... Is this where our stuff is being stored? Do you find your stuff? Is this our, is our loot here? So not is it here. Do, it has to be an action. Do you find your loot? Yes, do we find our loot? Perfect. <coughs> okay, and what is, so the location is the planet, but like what specifically, like where do you go on the planet? Um, he was able to figure out with his quick calculations the angle of the sun and all that bullshit happened. Yeah, you know where it is, but exactly like what is it? exactly where the building was. And it well, is in a, um, it's in a secluded, it used to be a really um, big, uh, um, what do they call it, a big mall. Big oh. mall. Full of stuff. No, a big fancy mall, not a big mall. Like Mall of America. Yeah, like yeah. that, it's only like now it's, yeah, because the pleasure planet next door became more popular. Got it. So this place became underused. Got it. And that was where his calculations led us to a Forever 21 in the <laughs> Got it. Okay. Still open or? 
it's a yeah. It's okay. abandoned. It's, right. it's, it's now says one forever. <laughs> there's a sad two, two broken like on the ground. One, one so there's like an empty fountain. Yeah, the escalators that aren't running. Yeah, okay. there's stairs right. now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the escalators now. There's stairs. Yeah, exactly like that. So, um, you guys uh, are kind of like heading up this uh, like crumble pavement that like has grass and stuff growing all through it. Through it. Well, it's a mess. Uh, yeah, we're, and all of us are there because okay. we well, all came over. Yes, we're all together. <laughs> and um, like you. The camera sh- like shows that sort of like down the hill of this formerly urban area. There's now like corn, alien cornfields, and like there's a farm out over there. There's like a windmill going that someone has set up, and each of the spokes of the windmill are like a different part from a spaceship. Um, and um, so as you approach, it's the the yeah. stops every time it gets to the bottom because the highest wheel hits to the bottom and it has to like use its own energy to get going. Again. Uh, so you, um, as you approach this uh, huge ancient mall, you've got your calculations. Uh, so do you use like a notepad, or do you have like a tablet that projects stuff, or like what is? Is it really high tech, or are you more of a retro historian type? It's probably higher tech. Okay. You got your data pad, so you're like because if nothing else, I kept bitching it on this tech was way too outdated. Right. So, um, Not so, like my cool hologram gloves. Yeah, you're sure that it's that the portal opened in there somewhere. Yeah. And um, so as you approach, you can kind of hear the hum of like a giant generator to, to power whatever is happening inside this place. It must be underground or hidden in some way. And um, as you approach, um, you can hear like the occasional like metallic click or whine of servo motors so there must be like some kind of mechanical beings or items that are active around here and that's the situation go ahead right so we're headed in okay so you go walking up yep i've got my i've got my I've got a gun in my lower back cool we got um well, no, a couple weapons ready. Yeah. And I, I got my gadgets and gizmos. I'm like doing the whole, you know. And we walk up to the escalator. Got it. So you, uh, <laughs> one of us is going to get tetanus in this place. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> there is going to be some tetanus. too big for me. Sorry. <laughs> and an old hologram reactivates from a food place. Yeah. A moose selling peanuts. <laughs> yeah, so it's like really tense, and then suddenly there's like this hologram of like spazzing out. Of and everybody's like. And pointing at like this empty like storefront. And, and we all look at him because he's the one who triggered it. And the, really? Because I'm busy on my holographic display hand thing, right. making sure this place is So as you guys are all distracted by this, you hear like. As bullets start to spray from somewhere, what do you guys do? No, I hit yeah. Three dives out of the way. Excuse me, I take a run and dive and roll, and I come up behind something that clearly could not stop bullets, but obviously does. <laughs> nice. Uh, so there is a very advanced looking robot there that is has like some kind of chain gun and it's like tracking all four of you. It has a bunch of different weapons and each weapon is tracking one of you. So you guys all go diving for cover. Uh, so this is a good place to determine if you discover your loot or if you are chased away. Uh, so you're all here. So I'm just going to give you all your screen presence. Is this mine? <laughs> yeah, that's yours. Can I get one for free? Uh, anyone have traits, edges, I've or connections? I've got an invention just for that. <laughs> oh, awesome. Robots, you say. Robots, you say. <laughs> Stronger than I look. Stronger than you look, absolutely. Oh, God, I've seen this movie. Don't forget to check it off, and for check yours off, too, yep. because you can use yours up to three times, because okay. that's your screen presence. In the discuss that vision. Uh, so no other traits or yeah. connections. Okay. Um, fan mail. Anyone have any fan yes. mail they want to spend? I, want to I don't want to keep die. Because you need your cards. Okay. One for you on your side. Okay. One for you on your side. Yep. One for you on your side. Do we all have the same sides? <coughs> what? Do we all have the same side? Yeah. yeah. You're all on the same it, side. It would be in theory if one of us wants to help the drama happen. Yeah. You could. Uh, you could help me. Yeah. Versus, like it's me versus you. That, that's how it goes. 
that's the eternal struggle of white writer and producer. Yep. Uh, okay, so you guys have a bunch of cards. You have six. We, we have a lot, man. Yeah. You know, you guys are spending them, so I'm going to keep re-spending them. We got 11 cards total. Four, four, one, two, three, four. All right, let's make it happen. Ooh. Oh, I did not help. We got three. Oh, I got damn. Two. <laughs> I got one. So. So that's a total of four. You guys win. Hey! And, the high card. and it looks like you lose I yours too. I did too. We lose both of these. All right, lose all three. Good. Okay. You know that's good. It shows that you're making progress in the episode. Yeah. So just be watching this as this dwindles. You're gonna to want to be closing in on the bad guys in your plot scenes. So I'd be asking things like, do we catch old Lin Hisuk or do we find young Lin Hisuk or whatever it happens to be. Okay. Um, Okay, so uh, I answer the main question. Uh, in this case, it is yes, and I got the high card too. So um, yes, you do find your stuff. So what's the invention that you, you pull out? I pull out a small portable magnetic EMP homing beacon that I throw that runs right to the nearest electrical magnetic source. And when it tinks in it, it goes dee dee dee. And then you see this weird you know, emoji style face open up and smile and then like a camera flash and it shuts off the robot without squishing the little invention. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's like it just kind of tips over where it stands. It's paying down like a couple of like rolls of ammunition drop off of its, you know, magnetic uh, arms. Yeah. Just kind of like hangs there. Um, and actually, with shield. And when that when that EMP goes, like you hear all kinds of other machinery in this place also cycle. Like you just blasted a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't even see. Like that hologram by the door was not the only system. So it was, was almost like, it was like an EMP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, you guys all. Uh, and I like poke up from behind the table. I remember the last time you had to use that thing. This is and much more exciting. I just make a gun and go. <laughs> so this was you. much more exciting. <laughs> the no, most was, powerful weapon in the verse. Like, wow. uh, give him a point. Give him one for that. And then, like, you said things fall off. Thing like one of them, like lands right after. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so you guys, um, so you kind of search around, and uh, eventually you notice that there's uh, an area that doesn't, like the roof has fallen in, but none of the debris is there, and it's like someone's cleared it away. Um, you go down a set of utility stairs into the basement where there's all this equipment. There's some of the computers that are still on, like in sleep mode now, because the MP reset them. Um, and laying face down on the floor, you find you, you, and you. Like, the EMP knocked us out? Yeah, the EMP, like, blasted your booting processors, and so they're all... all I'm so taking these. Down. <laughs> that could totally be useful for, uh, for heists. I see ideas. <laughs> nice. In case I ever have to get you out of jail, these guys did it. <laughs> it's like, if these are anatomically correct, I will hurt you. If my ex built them, they're probably not completely functional. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, the uh, uh, and you are at a portal projector, like an obviously a big like projection device, and it looks like the one that you have, um, except for it's much larger and much clunkier. Um, but also, it seems that it, yeah, it has no finesse. But at the same time, it's also like you look at it and you're like, this is kind of familiar advance like this has yeah. some stuff in it that i'm still working on take the hand out so click <laughs> click <laughs> click <laughs> click yeah that looks, that might have to reverse engineer something you never know uh so what do you guys do with it so like yeah and all your stuff is locked up in the corner i'm gonna do with it open up your portal break it we want this with our ship we well, we don't, don't want to trust her portal. I think it's safe for us just to hump it back. His ship. portal. You do really want to carry everything back it's my through problem. everything? I'd rather carry it than trust something she built. Oh, open your portal then. Okay. I don't care whose portal it is. Okay. Open a portal. What? Move our shit through it. You're gonna smash. JD smash. So, much. so like you are tearing apart. Do you want any of this? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then she holds out this handful of wires. I'm like, 
Actually, I could use that part. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she's sheer tearing them apart. You're arguing with them about whether you should open it. Like, is there any kind of portal we can use to get back? You just have this brand new yacht. You may not have a, a portal target set up yet in your brand new I'm thinking it's yacht. safer for us to probably carry this So, like, you guys are talking about, you like are arguing back and forth, um, and you hear this huge, low, like, inception noise, like, the, the throng from, like, way up above you. And then you hear a massive, like, voice of God that says, This is interlocutor Heron of the Federated Marshals. Your location is known to us. We are locking down the area immediately. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> For the portal. Okay, all right, all right. So. Thank you. That was the, okay, so that was... She looked like she was going to pee her pants. All right, so that was the complication. Uh, so we've gone around the table once. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to get some water. You guys should, too. Um, we're about halfway through, as you can see. Um, like, I'm going to be spending less and less. Sure, sure. Yeah, we get, yeah, we get, yeah, we get shots for sure. Uh, so we're gonna spend. I'm gonna spend less on scenes, but I don't necessarily think we're gonna get all the way around again. Um, did you guys? You guys turned in all the stuff we needed to. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, all three of them then go in the pot. So we're yep. gonna take about five minutes and we'll be back. Okay. Next time on Chrono Capers. I actually lowjacked all three of you guys so I could later on find my loot when in the future you steal it from me just in case. All right, that's pretty good. So, uh, so the AI tells me where these two... Hey guys, Mark Cato from Tucson Games and Gadgets. Uh, want to tell you a little bit about what's going on here today at RingCon, where you guys should be. I hope you're going to be coming this coming year. It's coming up. Uh, we come here to RingCon because we want to meet all the people here in Tucson that we play games with in our store. And of course, RingCon, you're going to be finding all of this stuff right on the tables and have a lot of fun. It's amazing. I hope you're here. I hope we're going to see you soon. So where can people go when they're not at RingCon to play games? Come on down to Tucson Games and Gadgets at 2900 East Broadway. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.